is the 30th of November 2023 and we are at 3747 North and about 70 degrees 31 minutes west. Uh, we're in the strong current of the Gulf Stream and you'll notice a little change of attire here. I'm in a short sleeve shirt. And uh, it's still a little chilly, but uh, it ain't nothing like it was yesterday. Yesterday morning had passing snow showers, and even into last night was still bitter cold. But we started off beating down Vineyard Sound. That was just a treat. And then once past, uh, once south of No Man's Land, Martha's Vineyard, we were in a gale. Uh, Northwest winds 25, 35 knots. She could just barely hold on to the triple reef main in the heavy weather. It's probably a little over canvas, but we, we hung on there. Uh, we're, we're making good time here. As I said, we're right in the Gulf Stream, so it's very, very gusty. Uh, wind, wind will drop down to 10 knots, and then now it's gusting in again. It's up about 20 or so, uh, which uh, gives the uh, self steering part of time. Our course is southeast, and we seem to have east setting current, maybe even a touch east southeast setting current. I've seen the GPS hit 10 knots a couple of times, so we're just uh, we're just bombing along here. Uh, weather forecast is not bad. It looks like basically this, kind of 15 to 25 feet reaching, um, and uh, the only the only uh, the only fly in the ointment being that. Uh, uh, we're liable to get into light gale conditions on Sunday as we approach Bermuda. Uh, hopefully, hopefully arrive at Bermuda. Well, this this passage is threading a needle because you're always trying to find the window. You're always trying to find at this time of year in the North Atlantic is between is between the major weather systems, and uh, that's what we have now. We have a we have a few days here of uh, fairly stable weather, stable westerly winds, and uh, so uh, so decent wind and fair weather, so that's, that's uh, so you got, you got some time to make your miles, and uh, hopefully make it to Bermuda before anything bad hits. And I'll slush the mast and gaff jaws with a little beef tallow. Friday the 1st of December. I'm just up checking on things here. We're uh, just barely able to lay course. Like course to Bermuda is 139. We're just barely able to steer that. 
uh, the winds are still kind of south southwest, um, which means that we're we're close hauled, laying the course, but close hauled. So just nothing to give away. Um, and uh, otherwise, uh, it's uh, it's quite nice out here. We have a nice uh, nice uh, clear skies and a moon. I don't know if you can see that. See that nice bright moon. Uh, it's going behind a cloud now. It's uh, just a few clouds, but otherwise, otherwise a lovely starlit night. It's cool, but not cold. And uh, that's what happens when you get on the other side of the Gulf Stream. Um, so anyway, as I say, I was just up checking on things, and uh, there's no, nobody out here, nobody on the AIS, so I'm going to go uh, go back down in my bunk and catch some more Zs, so we'll talk to you later. Five in the afternoon, Sunday, the third of December, 2023, and uh, uh, we're still kind of struggling here. Uh, we're still falling to the east of our ley line. Uh, latest grips show that the wind should veer, uh, but I've been waiting for that wind to veer. It's kind of waiting for Godot. Um, anyway, it's also supposed to get up to about 20 to 30 knots. And then, uh, oddly, kind of tail off a bit after midnight. Uh, drop back down to about 15 to 25. Um, and, uh, and at least the European model tomorrow has it coming southwest, even west-southwest. So we might be in luck there. Um, and even the frontal passage by Bermuda doesn't look too bad. It's holding under gale force. Um, so even if we don't make it in tomorrow, Hanging offshore to, shouldn't be too bad, and then we'll uh, and then we'll get those northerlies. It is Monday, the fourth of December, 2023, and we have uh, just a little over 20 miles to run to the town cut into St. George's. Uh, still can't see Bermuda, but it's a pretty low island. Um, well, just super fun night last night. Uh, that wind's about 20 to 30 knots. Um, rain showers. And before the moonrise, it was just absolutely just black as coal. Um, it, it almost made me think like uh, at some point this blackness was just going to close in for good. And I was, I was going to become another Bermuda Triangle mystery. Uh, however, I do have some... Uh, some more uh, Bermuda Triangle fun. Uh, I heard my radio blinking on and off this morning. And so I replugged the power cord so it doesn't seem to be blinking on and off anymore. However, uh, I noticed that I cannot transmit on high power. So if I, if I try to transmit on high power, the radio just shuts off. Uh, usually that means a, a power supply issue. Um, Curiously though, the, the AIS transponder is on the same power line as the radio. So, though the radio shuts off, the AIS transponder keeps going. Um, so, but it appears I can still transmit on low power, so that should be good enough. And uh, so I decided to check my little handheld backup, and uh, the battery is dead in that. So I hooked that up to the charger and it does not appear to be charging. So my only hope is that I got the, uh, that the radio will work on low power because I'm going to have to communicate with Bermuda Radio to come in with, through the town cut. 
Uh, Bermuda Radio, this is Ruth Avery on 1-6, over. Six, do you copy over? We're the Bermuda Radio, yes, sir. Uh, you're coming through quite a lot better now. Uh, for my information, because the last time we tried to communicate, I uh, I got you to switch to two seven, and I couldn't read you. Are you uh, broadcasting from a uh, handheld over? Uh, negative from my ship's radio. Uh, however, uh, I cannot go to high power over. Copy that, sir. Uh, can we try two seven? Uh, my working channel twenty seven over. Affirmative, let's try 27. Hit a radio, this is Ruth Avery on 27, over. Ruth Avery, Bermuda Radio, yes sir, you're coming through uh, quite clear now. Uh, just confirming that you're inbound for uh, St. George's and uh, asking if you've submitted pre-arrival information, over. Uh, affirmative, I'm headed to St. George's. Uh, negative, I did not submit pre-arrival, over. Copy that. Yes, uh, all, all equipment is the same. Uh, however, I do have the AIS transponder now. Over. Copy that. Yes, you have AIS now. Uh, yes, your, uh, sir. I was just uh, asking, what is your last port of call, over? Last port of call was Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts. Over. So I'm cleared with Bermuda Radio to come into St. George's through the town cut. However, with a southwest wind, I'm going to have to tack in through that town cut. So, all right, here we go. So as I get inside the enclosed waters here, particularly inside the town cut, the wind is going to get fickle. One thing you have to be careful here when coming about is that you don't get suddenly caught aback by an odd gust. And then the headsail pushes you back on the same tack and you might not have enough room to gather up speed to come around before you hit the rock. There's plenty of room in here. What are you talking about? cheerlead for making it past that short tacking drill, the sun comes out and bathes me in its warm rays. But I'm not done yet. Gotta get her up to the customs wharf. Luckily they got an officer standing on the dock who's gonna help me with my lines. This is actually one advantage of a heavier full keel boat, is that she won't be so squirrely when you get in in light and fickle conditions. She'll tend to just carry herself nicely in a straight line. So as long as you can slow her down in time, all should be well. A 
Come on, baby. Stop. Stop. That's good. And so the little wind ship arrives in Bermuda without so much as a scratch. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.